um, in this tutorial we will be deploying a fast um, API application um, just to show you how you deploy from the CLI um, without uh, pushing the project to GitHub. So uh, what I have here is a fast API project. This is the UV concept. So it's up. So ideally, it has a database. Uh, we'll be picking the database from the database connection from the env right here. So yeah, my SQL. We have my SQL. We have the user. We have the password. We have the host, and the port and the table name. So right here is our database dot pi. And then we have the main application that we are starting. And then uh, for now, we just uh, have one route. This is just for demonstration purposes, in case you are deploying from the CLI. So models.py. So uh, the first thing is, uh, of course, to we have uh, two tables, uh, users and posts. We will be able to see this uh, tables created. So on here, right here, uh, we have the Python packages or the libraries that we need. Fast API, UVCon, the server, the SQL coming, PyMySQL, and the Python.env. So I'll just uh, quickly confirm locally. So the get request is not there. But you can see on the docs we have this user, and uh, you can act actually post a user with this uh, username, and it will be saved to the database. So uh, fast forward to the deployment bit. Just minimize this. So I have uh, uh, the Redis CLI installed on my computer. So if you don't, uh, you can just install it uh, using npm. There's a video that I've done on the same. You can check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. But uh, initialize the project. So redo in it. And then we'll call it first API demo. So, uh, already it has created this project. Uh, if I come to my railway dashboard, you should be able to see it here. And then to deploy, you use a command railway app. This uh, will compress your project and uh, push it to railway. Uh, but we need to create the database just some minute. So okay, it's still pushing the the thing. I mean the API bit. So as it does that, uh, create a database here, and uh, it's a MySQL instance, so that I'm, I ideally connect it to. Uh, this is a env variable so both services are running Um, so let me just uh, check it here in my CMD. Yeah, so um, it crashed because um, you see, it says uh, it cannot connect to the MySQL server. So ideally, uh, let's uh, create the server. And then after we've created the server, we will modify the environmental variables for this. And I think uh, that will be it. 
um, our project will be deployed online. So it's still building this. Um, we give it up to two minutes at max, and then we can do the configuration on our API. Right, so, so uh, we are here. We'll connect it using the public URL of the NV right here. So I'll copy this value. Let me just construct the NV so database URL remains the same is equals to so this bit, this bit, my SQL. Okay, let me just. Uh, is this um that is from river and then have this so this can be modifying this so the root remains this uh the user the password we change the password to this so this is the password bit at um so yeah ideally We change. Let's just change this bit so that we have root. Um, this confirms to the password locally. So this is the password on driver. So at uh, localhost. So this is the server, and then this is the port. We are good to go. We just um, pick it here. on this um, first API so let me just come and add a new work to the call I'll call it uh, database URL right there and then I'll put this okay so of course uh, local <laughs> I'll comment that so add it and then deploy the change so uh, you do this uh, only once and then um, the next time when you run this um, read up you should be able to pick the connection without you having to uh, you know, uh, reconfigure this environmental variable on the cloud. So it's still building. We give it a few minutes, like one or two minutes, then come back to it. So that is it. Uh, let's check uh, on our database. Uh, you can see the migration strain successfully. Uh, we have uh, the two tables uh, created already. And then coming back here, we can start this. Let me just uh, 
Nice I don't mean can run on this port with the agent then generate the domain um, let's just hit this so this is what we had uh, locally when we went to the fleet user so this uh yet so I think it's um uh, because we are using a custom start command let's just add uh, this start command to uvcon we specify the host and then the port so that we do on the ones and uh, we do it here under settings and then you can add you see this command the start command let's add that so it's a uh, uvcon and this and this So it should be up in a here. Just uh, waiting for it. So it's up. Uh, I hope the server started now. There we go. Our service is up well and running so in case you make um, changes to this this uh, like one route for the users so we'll just um, create another one for just for testing purposes Let's call this one the user store. Save it. And then let's uh, push it up. So ideally, really up will push the changes up and uh, respecting the GitHub rules, of course, like the Git ignore and all that. So it will tell you to select a service. So we are pushing it to the first API demo. And uh, immediately we push this. Um, it should start building right here, right now, without you doing anything. So in case um, it's another framework or anything, just um, do relay up and your code will be pushed uh, without you pushing it to github or um, to drop or something as simple as that so uh, it will deploy and then we'll test the change right here just a minute so minimize this so minimize this
yeah the change is uh, online you do throw it down very fast so i think um, that is um, how you do it uh, in case you need to learn more about this just uh, visit uh, the video documentation Yes, you so you should be able to uh, get all this, and then you can use it to deploy your project in case uh, you are working with 